Hey y'all, I want to make some turnip greens with y'all today. I use mustard greens, I use collard greens, I use all greens. I've never met one I didn't love. Today I have some turnip greens. I was like, which one did I say I had? And I have washed them really good under cold water, okay, both sides really well. And I've got them up here, I've drained them. I've been chopping on them to get us over here to the stove. And I want to show you a couple of ways you can do this to get them off the stem. You need the stem removed because it's a bit tough. I have had them chopped in there and I ate them, but it's just a little better, a little more special without that. So I'll take several and I'll line that stem or that vein up, okay? And we're gonna just lay them in flat out in a row like this, lining that vein up, okay? Just like that. And then I'll fold it over in half right along that vein, okay? See that? Hope y'all can see this. Hope what I'm doing down here. Can y'all see what I'm doing down here? I hope so. And I am going to cut along this vein. I'm gonna get y'all down here. Let's see. Get y'all on down here. Just like that. And like I say, I've got that vein lined up, folded in half, and I'm just going to cut right along with my knife blade and get that out of there, just like that. Okay, then you're left with just these stems like that. My chickens love these, my cows love them, and you're left with these big leaves, and I'll just kind of roll it, and then I'll chop it in big pieces like this. Just like that. And if you don't want them to be being long when you get through, just chop them once, once down the middle and you've got them in there and you can add them. This is four bunches that I've washed real good and I'm chopping them. Another way I do it is simply just take the green, fold it in half again, and start at the top and come down and it peels right off like that. Just like that do another one so it's however you do it is good and then again i will take that and coarsely chop these so they'll just do better when we eat on them all right guys let's get to the stove i've got y'all over here by the stove i've got a pot i've got my fire on medium low first thing i want to do is add a couple of tablespoons of olive oil you can add canola oil, vegetable oil, any kind of oil you want to, okay? Any kind of cooking oil you want. That's totally up to you. Next, I'm going to put me some red pepper flakes. This new camera lets me zoom right up close. I'm so tickled about that. Red pepper flakes, and that again is up to you. As many as you want to put or as little as you want to put or none. They are optional. And into that, I'm gonna, I chop some shallots. I chop two small shallots right here. This is what they look like. They're small little onions and they have a real small onion flavor too. They're very mild and that's what I love about them in here. They're very elegant little onion flavor. And y'all know bacon grease, yes. Look, we're running low. I gotta make some bacon. I'm gonna put a teaspoon or so, or two, in there. And I am going to saute these little shallots for about three minutes, just long enough to soften them. It's been just a few minutes and our shallots are nice and softened. So now to that, I'm gonna add some chopped garlic. I buy it already chopped like this when I wanna hurry. And I'm gonna do two teaspoons of this chopped garlic, just like that. Stir it around. I don't put that in in the beginning because garlic will burn on you real easy, okay? So that's why I waited, guys. Next, I am going to, I'm using a smoked turkey leg. Doesn't he look good? You can use a smoked turkey wing. You can use a smoked ham hock. I've used all of those and they're all wonderful. And if you don't have any of those, you can use a few slices of bacon and you'll already have your bacon grease in the bottom, right? And then just chop up your bacon. So, whichever you want to do. It's going to give a nice smoky flavor to our greens. It sure is. 
All right, now to that, we are going to start putting in our greens. This looks like a ton, 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 and they will wilt down a lot, I promise. Just trust me, guys, trust me, if you've not ever done it. I know lots of you have done this and done this. This is also something we love to eat here in the South and consider luck for New Year's. Yes, we do, because it's green, like money, like American money anyway. Okay, y'all, I got some escape greens. All right, guys, into this pot. Y'all hear it sizzling? <laughs> okay, now you need some things in here. We're gonna need some salt. I'm gonna put one teaspoon of salt. And before I serve them, of course, I'll taste it and see if we need any more. I'm just gonna start with that. And then I'm going to put the juice of half a lemon. You need some acid in your greens. And I'm using lemon. If you don't have a lemon or some refrigerated lemon juice, you can use vinegar, apple cider vinegar. A tablespoon would work just fine. And to offset the acidity, you need a little bit of sugar. That's something people a lot have lost down through the way, but this is what my grandmother did. I use brown sugar, y'all know I love it. So I'm gonna put a tablespoon of brown sugar in there. And then to that, I'm going to add just some water. I'm gonna just cover my greens, okay? Just like this. Mine's taking like a couple of quarts. And if you don't have any bacon and you don't have any uh, smoked meat and you still want to get a nice meaty flavor in there, um, I'm going to tell y'all too, let me back y'all up some. <laughs> tell you too that you can put chicken, chicken broth in here instead of smoked meat. But I love the smoked meat because then you get little giblets of the meat in there as well. Next thing I'm going to do is add the lid on top if I can find it. Did I even get it out? I didn't get him out of my drawer. Gonna put the lid on top. Um, I also like to put some ground pepper if I can find my pepper mill. Here we go. Just like this. And I'm gonna let these cook down for probably an hour. I'm gonna let that turkey leg, I'm gonna let him cook down in that water and he'll give off all that smoky goodness, smoky goodness. And he's also gonna make a broth in there. And then before I serve it, I'm gonna debone him and put all the meat back in there. But I'll get back on here with y'all when I do that. Hey y'all, get me a green facial. Um, look at that turkey leg. It's just falling off the bone, okay? So I am going to remove it at this point. These have been cooking for about an hour. They are cooked down, tender, fall apart, wonderful. They smell glorious. But yeah, before he literally comes apart in our pot, I'm gonna get him out and just get some of that meat off there. Put these back on the stove. Grab a meat fork or two. Just like this. John's been working all day in our pastures cleaning up from some timber getting cut on them. And uh, he just came in. His deer was ready that he had harvested, so he's going to pick it up. And he came in here and he had to pick him a little bit of the smoked turkey leg. Yeah, he did. <laughs> For the road. He got some off of here. He loves coming in and see what I'm cooking. He gets so excited. All right, y'all. That's some greens that came off with him. I'll just put them back in the pot, too. I guess y'all can see what I'm doing, can't you? I've got this new camera, so I'm a little bit dubious, but I'm loving it. I'm loving this new camera. I actually made an investment on this new camera, if y'all get what that means. <laughs> y'all, turkey leg has a ton of meat on it. Um, turkey wings got plenty, but I didn't find any turkey wings, so I got my turkey leg here. All right. That's a good bit. It's got a ton more. I may share that with some of my puppy dogs, too. 
Jacks and Benny. Last time I talked about y'all down here on the floor, everybody got disappointed that I didn't show y'all. So we're going to have to show y'all, huh? I'll get them up here and give them a bite of turkey leg. How about that? They say, yeah, Mom, we'll do that. We'll do that for the camera, huh? <laughs> We're gonna make some puppy dog treats like we did last Christmas too. We're gonna do that real soon. Y'all see that? That's a good bit, and I still got tons of meat on that on that turkey leg. Yes, I do. Y'all reckon I'd make that across the kitchen and put that in our pot? I did. I did. I did. Didn't have to get out my bench scraper, did I? Sure did not. All right, Benny. Come here, baby. Come here, baby boy. Let's show everybody. You, everybody wants to see it. Come here, come here. And he said, Mama, I'm not supposed to be up here in the kitchen. In the kitchen? Look here, Mom's got some smoked turkey leg. This is Benny. He came from a rescue home. Um, There was this person and they, had, they lived in a single wide trailer and they had 75 dogs in cages. Right. Biddy says, I was living at the tip top on top of a whole bunch of puppy dogs. Yes, I was. He was only about four months old and he's been with us for like two years, huh? Yeah, yeah. He says, now I'm rotten, rotten to the core. Sweet, sweet, sweet. <laughs> All right, Jax, you come here, baby. Everybody wants to see you too. Come here, Jax. This is Jax. He looks like a little miniature uh, men peeing, doesn't he? I know, but he's not. Um, I think his daddy's a Chihuahua and his mother is a Yorkshire Terrier. Yeah. And, um, Jax, are you nervous? Are you camera shy, baby? Look, Mama's got some smoked turkey leg. He said, oh, okay, I'll get over that. Um, he too was, y'all know I worked at the uh, vet's office up in town for years. Um, and he came up there um a man his neighbor girl was moving away and she wasn't taking him and he was about two months old and she was just gonna leave him so um he came and he asked would we find it at home and we sent you to two other people jacks and they brought you back <laughs> that's the truth yes we did and uh so anyway Amy took him home. Yes, she did. I finally, he finally broke me down. He was sitting in that cage and wag his tail and be so excited. And so I brought him home. He's the one y'all mostly hear barking. He says, I bark at everything. Jax, tell everybody hi. <laughs> and I've had him for about four years now. So, so anyway, that's my two rotten little dogs. And they bark at everything and they hate the UPS man and they hate the FedEx man and they both deliver them treats and food so they're embarrassing to have around guys yes they are but anyway they're mine let me wash my hands okay y'all I'm going to put my greens in this pretty little bowl I got it in Natchitoches Louisiana this year um, my friend Bridget or our friend Bridget took Cynthia and me there and showed us the whole town. She went to college there and her daughter's going to college there. And so it's a precious little town to her. I believe Natchitoches is actually the oldest established town or city in our whole entire state. I think it is. So anyway, guys, but I got this beautiful bowl with the Florida leaves and look at the bottom of it. It's speckled. Can y'all see that? Yeah, you can. I love how this camera will let me get up close with y'all because I'm always like wanting to be right up close with y'all. <laughs> I'm going to put the greens in here. I thought that'd be real, real pretty in here. I've got everything stacked up and piled up, guys, just so I can be together with y'all. Be together. Togetherness. This is how I like to serve mine. Now everything's trying to tip over. Mm-hmm. Right? <laughs> let me let me regroup here because it really is trying to tip over I do not want to break my pretty bowl I just got no I do not there we go now then 
Now then, get all this beautiful turkey meat and greens. In fact, that'll take a long time with that. I'll get this big strainer right here. Sure will. Just like that. Put that in here. I strain them just a bit, but I don't throw away that juice. Let me tell y'all, we love that on our cornbread. And John would, I believe he'd sit on the floor and cry if I threw that, that, that pot liquor away is what we call it. Yes, he would. He likes that juice. And if he'll eat something green, I'm going to save it. Yes, I am. Okay, guys. About gotten all the little greens out of there, and I'm gonna take this pretty picture. Y'all know we gotta have a photo session with our food while it's good and hot. Let me come show y'all. Yum! Don't those look good? I can smell the smokiness. I'm gonna grab me a fork, y'all, and just right out of here. We'll take a little bite of it. Ooh, and they are hot. Hotter than a $2 pistol. Yes, they are. Phew, they're hot. Let's let it cool just a moment. I hope that y'all's holiday season is going okay. Ours has gone berserk. Berserk. That's what it has done. But, um... It's just how you deal with things, right? That's all That's all we can do is show our grace dealing with things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was tasting it, see if it needs any more salt or anything. It needs nothing but a piece of hot buttered cornbread. That's all they need. Y'all go make some greens and... Love yourself as much as everyone else, guys. I'll see y'all next time.